Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of Lead Code Daily Challenge, um, construct quad tree. Um, and so here we have an n by n matrix, right? So same dimensions for rows and columns, and the values are zeros and ones. And we want to represent this um, grid using a quad tree data structure. Now, what is a quad tree data structure? It's um, it's a tree, just like any normal tree, where each node has four children, right? Um, and it's it represents a grid, and so you can so the grid would be div divided like this, where so a section would be the top left, another section would be the top right, and then we have the bottom left section and bottom right section, and all of these are represented as nodes, right? Um, and then each each of course each sub node here can have also its own um, its own uh, children, and um, there are some rules to what you select as a full um, as a top left and whether you divide a top uh, you divide like a uh, a portion of the grid further or not right we'll see that in a second um, but here we have two other values val and leaf the value is actually the value we get in the grid so for example if we take a look at the first example um, this value here would be that value in the in the data structure um, the other one is just leaf so this would represent just whether the um, the node is the last node or it's divided and uh, it's it has its own children or not, right? Um, of course, it's true if it's a leaf, false if it's not, right? Um, okay, so that's the sort of the data structure for the node. Now, how do we actually divide um, a grid and create um, a quad tree out of it? So here, for example, if we take a look here, um, this is a grid with zero, one, one, zero, and so the children, the children here, the first one has the value zero. So this is the top left one, the same color green, um, and then this is the same color yellow. So it's the top right. So, uh, and then each of them you can see has the same value, and it's a leaf. Each of them is a leaf because it doesn't. It's just one cell, so we can't divide it further, right? Um, and um, we. Of course, we need a parent node, right? And so, it doesn't matter really what the value you give to the parent node. You can decide to just give it one. Um, what matters is that it these children that are actually real values, right? Um, so let's take a look at a more sophisticated example. I think this would clarify it better. So here you can see um, we have this big grid with values one and uh, one and zero. And the rule here is actually simple. Um, Basically, if the entire grid, subgrid like this one here, has the same values all over, so here are all ones, then that can be a leaf, because you don't need to divide it further. The idea here is like in some, for example, in some image, let's say different colors, if a, a portion has the same color, just paint the entire thing with the same color and don't divide it. But if it has red and yellow, you can't paint them with the same color. So divide it into two section, one for red and one with um, yellow, right? Um, so for example, this section, we don't need to divide it further. This section, we don't. This section, we don't, right? But this one, we need to because there are ones and then there are zeros. So we need to divide it into subgrids like top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, right? And then once we do that, we are done because each of them has the same value, right? So that's the idea here, and that's what you see um, in this grid here where the green portion here has entire the same value, so we stop, we don't divide it further. That's what you see here in the top left. Um, initially, the entire grid, if it was only ones, we won't divide it, but here, since it has zeros and ones, different values, we divide it, so it's not a leaf. So basically, leaf means have the entire um, subgrid has the same values. Um, it's not a leaf if it doesn't because we need to divide it farther, right? And so here, the yellow part here, the, um, the orange part here is a separate one. We don't divide it farther because it's uh, it's all, all ones. Um, the um, red one, same thing, it's all zero, so we don't divide it farther. We just say it's a leaf and the value is zero. Here it's a leaf and the value is one because the values here are one. Now, this portion here is the one we want to divide because it has different values, okay? And so we have, again, the only way we need to, do, we can divide is with top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, where each they have the same size, right? And divided by two, 
on the rows and then divide by two on the column. Um, yeah, so here each section gets its own node as well, right? With but it's final because each of them has the same values. Um, okay, so how do we solve it? Well, definitely like rec recursion should work here, right? Because that's exactly what we are doing. We keep dividing until at some point when all the values are the same, we stop dividing, right? And so that already tells you that we need to use recursion. Now, the the with recursion, you just need to figure out a couple of things. One is when do you stop? So what's your base case? And the other one is um, how are you? What are the subcases you are going to divide? To divide? And with this problem, it's really clear, like, the base case is when all the values are the same, right? So basically, if we have all ones or all zeros, right? And then the subcases are also easy because it's just you take a grid and you divide it evenly to top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. And evenly means, let's say the grid was n by n. Then in here it is n divided by 2, n divided by 2, n divided by 2, n divided by 2. So the first one is this one, 0 to n divided by 2, and th the second one is this one, and the third one is this one, right? Um, and so in that aspect, subcases are really easy here. Um, so the only thing we need for each, for each one is just here, what are the dimensions? This is n divided by 2, n divided by 2, because this is n by n grid, right? Um, and so here and divided by two, right? And now we just need to figure out what do we pass to our um, recursive function, right? Um, and so we can just have our recursive function be a create function, and you can either choose to pass the dimensions, right? The the endpoints, right? Right? Zero, 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 and divided by two, and divided by two, and divided by two here, or you could choose to div pass the grid itself. Right, and that's what we are going to do in this case. And so, how do we how do we do that? Well, for example, this grid, what is it? The top left. Well, it's just for each row, right? So, for example, if you take a look here, for each row, we take half of it. For this row, we take half of it, and for this row. We take half of it, and we do that for what? We do that for half of the grid, right? We do that just for half of the grid, right? So we do that only for this half of the grid, the top half of the grid. So for the top left, we take the top half of the grid, and for each row, we take half of it. That's pretty much it. Um, for the second uh, top right corner, what we do is we take, again, half of the grid, which half of the grid in Python is just a grid, and divided by 2. Right, and so let's just say half is equal to n divided by two. Then this would be just grid um, on half, right? And then for this one, it's going to be just each row take the second half. Each row take the second half. So how do we represent that? Well, in Python, it's just going to be for the top left, for example, it's going to be the first half, and so it's going to be a row. For each row, we take the first half. So it's something like this for each row in the top half of the grid, right? So in grid half, right? And then for the top right, it's going to be pretty similar, except we are going to take the second half, right? And this is going to be for row again in the top half of the grid, right? So it's going to be, again, uh, dot, dot, half, right? And a similar thing for the bottom half, the only thing we'll need to change is instead of doing this one, we need to give the bottom half of the grid, so grid, a half like this. Okay? And those are the, the different states. And so we need to, co to keep recursing until we get the base case. And then since we are creating nodes, right, we, we have the node, which is going to be the value, um, whether it's a leaf or not. And then the top left, top right, and bottom left and bottom right. We just call it the recursion function on each of them. Um, and then we, we check by checking every value. If they are the same, we say it's a leaf and we return, right? Um, and then we assign for each one of these. So it should be pretty easy. Um, um, we can just create our recursive function and call it on the entire grid first and then divide into the quadrants if, if the values are not equal. The values are not all one or all are not zero we recurs, otherwise we just return um, the, the grid itself, right? If it's a leaf, we just return it. 
Um, so that's the idea. Um, now let's just implement, implement it, except like first let's actually do the time complexity. Now what's the time complexity for this solution? Well, with recursion we need to find in each step what are we doing and how many steps are we doing. That's what we need to find for recursion. So here, how many steps are we doing? So you can see here what we do is each time we divide the grid by half and divide it by two. Right? Um, so each time at most we will have four that have um, that have quarter of the size of the grid, right? So we'd have four, um, and each of them has quarter of the size, right? And so we will keep doing this, we'll keep doing this uh, for each one of them at most, and this is basically just lag, either based four of n or lag n, you can say uh, lag, base, lag of n, right? Um, and so that's how many step we'll do. Now, for each step, how much we'll do? Well, for each step, we check if it's a leaf or not. So we check if all the values are the same. So the worst case is the entire grid, which is n squared. And so worst case is n squared. So our solution is O of n squared like n time, right? Now, in terms of space, um, we are sorting the entire grid, right? And for each one, uh, for each the entire grid and for each one we yeah pretty much the entire grid and we passed around so it's over n squared space as well and this is time okay um so that's the time complexity and the rough idea of the solution now let's just implement it and make sure it passes um okay so let's implement the solution we just saw in the overview so first what we need to do is create our recursive function so let's call it create um, and that function, let's say it gets past a grid, we will mark it as J. We need a function to determine if a grid is a leaf or not. Um, that we will fill in a second. Now, what are the base cases? So if it's a leaf, then that's a base case. We just want to return the node. Now, if the grid is empty, so um, then we just want to return none. This is just in case the initial grid we get is empty. So this is if not J, we return. Um, now here, if it's a leaf, we just want to return the node, right? And so the node is going to be, what's the value? The value is just going to be whether the, the value of the grid itself, so it's a leaf, so we, the values are all equal, so we can take any one of them, so we take just the first cell, right? Um, and then it, since it's a leaf, right, we, we want to set leaf to true, which the problem says we want to set it to one. And then it doesn't have any children because it's a leaf, so we just pass all none. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now we also want to just remove these so that we have access to node. Um, and then we are going to recurse our function, right? So what we need is we need n to be, we, we want to take half. So we first take the length of the grid and half of it is n divided by 2. Okay, and now we want to create a node, a parent node, right, for our for the children that we are going to divide this subgrid into, right? And so what's the value? We said we can choose zero or one, but since the problem statement in the examples, it chooses one, we are going to put one. And now for the leaf node, whether it's a leaf or not, it's not a leaf, right? Because it, by definition here, it has children. We are going to add children. And so it's not a leaf, so false. So we set to zero. And now we do the top left. So top left. So that's going to be recursing. And we are going to pass, as we said, the top half of the grid. And the for each row, we take ha the first half of it, right? And so for each row, we take the first half of it. And each row is going to be from the top of the half of the grid, right? And then we do the similar thing for the top right. Um, so top right is going to be ex the same thing, except it's the right half of the row okay and then we do something similar but this time for the bottom left so this is the bottom left um, and this is going to be the first half the first half of the row but the last the second half the bottom half of the of the grid right because it's the bottom half and similar thing for bottom right except here it's the second half right this is the bottom right okay and that's pretty much it and then we want to um, return this node to the to its parent so that it attach it as either as one of the children right 
Um, and then here we want to call. Initially, we want to call it on the grid to yeah to start the process, the recursion process. Okay, so now we have our recursive function. Now we need to define our leaf node. We want to check if a grid is a leaf or not, and that's basically for it to be a leaf, it needs to have all ones or all zeros. So basically, all cells need to be equal. Um, all cells should be equal if it's a leaf. And so how do we do that? Well, we would just want to check all, all cells. So we just say all cells need to be equal to the first cell, right? Uh, this in Python, you can convert it to a, a for loop if you want, which basically means you exit if you find any cell that has a value that is different than this one. You could do that with a for loop, but it's just easier to do with this, um, with this function here. So for all i and j, um, I needs to be in the range of the length of J, right? And J needs to be in the range of length of J0, right? Um, and then we just return this, okay? So basically all cells are equal. That means it's a leaf. So let's run this, looks good, let's submit. And it passes test, test cases. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.